Jerry, what time do you have? I have five o'clock. Always late. <laughs> Always late. You're not late. I told them to meet me in front of my building at 6.15. Who? My parents. It's their anniversary. Taking them out to dinner and a show tonight. Oh. You think we'll hit traffic? Of course we'll hit traffic. It's rush hour. Isn't it going the other way? There's no other way in New York. Everybody goes every way all the time. What do you think, Georgie boy? <clears throat> Did I need that pointed out for me? What is that going to do for me? How does that help me to see her? I'm trying to live my life. Don't show me that. Well, if you like her, go and talk to her. Oh, yeah, women love to get approached in parking garages. I'll just go up and say, hi, how you doing? Would you like a glass of white wine? If you within 15 feet of that woman, she'd have her finger on the mace button. If I am not in front of my building at 615, when my parents get there, they're going to put me on an aggravation installment plan that will compound with interest for decades. Parents never forget a foul up. I once left my jacket on a bus when I was 14. I was flying to Chicago last week on a plane. Make sure you hang on to your jacket. <laughs> What's with you? My ear itches. Hey, don't you dare talk to me like that. You hear me? I told you, I don't care. No. You'll have to wait. Hey, is that, is that really necessary? Why didn't you mind your own business? Well, I, I think hitting a defenseless child is my business. You're ugly. What? You're ugly. You are. You are. That's what you think. That's what I know. Let's kill a Kowalski. Oh, he was a wrestler. You know, he would get down on his knees and he would grab a hold of someone's stomach and just squeeze it until they get... Hey, 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 I have to go to the bathroom. Well, why don't you just go? What, here? You, you and Jerry. It's... Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go down this row. You know, this is gonna kill them. Y you're aware of that. Kill them. On the biggest night of their life. You folks have an anniversary today, too? <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Will you look at this? He doesn't have enough with the Mercedes. He has to have two spaces. I tell you, you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to spit on it. I would like to see that. Should I? Should I do it? Teach him a lesson he'll never forget. Well, what does he think he is? Someone's got to stop him. It's against the law, isn't it? Well, it certainly should be. Okay. This is some machine. <laughs> Leave it to the Germans. <laughs> Let me ask you something. What do they get for a tune-up on this? She is again. What are you doing? You're killing me. Ask her to drive us around. There's your opening. That is an opening. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I, I'm really. Uh, uh, see, see what happened. My, my friend forgot where he parked. Sure, he? I'll drive you around. You will? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I, we're, we're late, and my parents are waiting for me in front of my building. I, we're stuck here. Well, I wouldn't want to get lost in here. It smells like a toilet. People are such animals. You're telling me. No oh, big pigs. <laughs> it's a brown food. This has happened to me, too. It's very frustrating. Oh. I've asked several people, and they wouldn't even answer me. I'm happy to do it. <laughs> I'm Michelle. Hi, Michelle. I'm George. Scientologists, they can be pretty sensitive. I say. What is it? 